Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing the Dark Souls franchise on the Steam Deck, so Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. First, let's start with Dark Souls Remastered, because the Prepare to Die edition is a terrible PC port, and it's not available for purchase, so native resolution, TAA, no motion blur, thank you very much. And let's get started, we're going to go into Blacktown. That's not usually super bad in this version. But on the original it was terrible. And sorry about the um, <laughs> sorry about the gameplay in advance. I haven't played this in a while. I finished it multiple times, but still. Here we are. So let's go there. And as you can see, it's basically 60 frames. No frame rate lock or anything. Unfortunately, the game is locked to 60 frames because B sync enforced B sync. So you might as well. Actually, let me enable B-Sync from here. It's better than the one on the Steam Deck for some reason, which is odd. So you cannot go over 60. Okay, yeah, that's way better. Yeah, it's a, f a way better frame time graph. That's good to see. So make sure to enable B-Sync on the um, options menu. In this game, it works surprisingly well, actually. Okay. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting where to go. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. This is the way. Okay. Valley of Drakes, and then directly to Blacktown. I know this part like the palm of my hand. I've been here benchmarking so much in the past. But you can see the GPU doesn't have any trouble running this. The CPU is basically chilling. I mean, yeah, I know the game is pretty old at this point, but still. Oh god, no. No, I got stuck in the terrain! Ah, uh, what a great way to start. Okay, he's roaring, so I can run away. Perfect. Yeah, I gotta love Dark Souls. <laughs> I get stuck in the terrain. Oh god, that was close. Welcome to Blacktown. <laughs> no suffering ahead, I promise. And in the original, if you ever played the PC version before, even on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, this part was basically 20 FPS no matter what due to the draw distance so that's a huge improvement so the remastered version has that hang on I forgot to attack this guy okay Perfect. That's not the correct way. And let's skip to the toxic part. One second. Alright, I'm at the bottom. So this is the toxic part of it. And as you can see, it's completely fine. GPU doesn't care. CPU doesn't care. So yeah, it will be a great experience. If you never played it, or if you played it and want to test new builds or something, this is a great way to play the game, in my opinion. It's 60 frames across the board. Santiago from 2013, 2014, we have been blown away by this. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump into Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, basically an improved version of the original with some other changes. Native resolution, let me disable this, and oh, everything maxed out. I only disable camera motion blur. The rest is basically on the highest. There is no TAA, so the edges might look more chunky than on the remastered first game. And as you can see again, the GPU is basically doing nothing. Very low... Um, 
very low frequency. So it's completely fine. There are some areas, usually the toxic parts. The toxic, I mean, like in Blacktown in the original. This is like, um, like a swamp. The toxic swamps usually drop performance. But in this case, we have so much GPU power to spare that it's fine. You won't be running into any particular issues. It's basically 60s across the board. And this one, we cannot... Um, unlock the frame rate either, either so yeah there we go <laughs> so it's fine this area is such a pain why why tell me to open this door slowly i would never understand that decision maybe to load the next area but still <laughs> Or decisions from the dev team. Okay, Tower of Flame. I'm going to sit in this bonfire just in case I fall. I'm pretty prone to falling in this game. Okay, perfect. And now let's get killed. Again, apologies in advance for the gameplay, haven't played this in a few years. It's been a while. Oh man. I don't know why I'm trying to parry, like if this was Sekiro or something. <laughs> oh, how times have changed. It was a bad idea to engage this one. But I wanted more challenge. Oh, close. Oh, so close to do a backstab. But as you can see, 60s across the board. I mean... It's no big deal. Try again. Yeah, bad idea. Backstab it is not my my strong suit. There we go. Still took it like a champ. Holy hell, that's insane. Come on. Ah, oh, why did I fail that, that attack? Come on. I'm so close yet so far. Yeah! Dead! Reduced to atoms! Ah, oh, it's been a while. Anyway, let's jump into Dark Souls 3, shall we? And finally, and finally Dark Souls 3, native resolution again. And I'll show you two settings. First, my optimal settings, visuals slash performance, because the game isn't 100% perfect. So basically I'm using between medium and high with the highest texture quality. And with these settings, I'm in one of the toxic swamps of the game. There'll be some stutters here and there, but we're mostly over 50 FPS. The thing is, sometimes the GPU is not fully utilized, so maybe in areas like this there is CPU limitations. As you can see it drops frames here and there. So that's not good. So I'll, I'll say 60s is not possible, at least in these locations. And I forget that there is a stamina bar in this game. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, in my opinion, you should lock it to 40 FPS for the best experience. And you get good visuals with this configuration. It doesn't look too too much of a drop from the highest, which is pretty interesting. And you will be basically lock 40s across the board. If here, if it's over 40 here, it will be 40 in most of the game, even with effects on screen like that. 
So that's one of the ways. I would say the recommended setting. After this, I'll show you the <laughs> the setting that is lowest FPS, which is uh, sorry, the lowest setting. Just to show you that there is not much of an improvement to be had. So again, these settings, I think, is what you should aim for. Oh, I forgot about the explosion. Oh, I died. No surprises there. So easily over 40, so lock it to 40. Enjoy your better than 30s configuration. If you want 30 frames, put it on the maximum settings and you're good to go. But again, I think this is a CPU limitation, mostly. Let's put it on the lower settings just for you to... Let's keep the textures max out though. You can even disable the shadows if you wanted to, which I do not recommend. Doesn't look particularly great, but hey, this is for testing purposes. So lower settings, except in textures, let's lower them to high just in case. And now, again over 50, seems to be okay. Let's go do some attacks. Let's see if this helps in any way. Still not locked 60, it's nowhere close to that. And by nowhere close I mean, I don't know why it's not getting there. The CPU doesn't seem to be suffering, but it behaves like the CPU was suffering. Maybe something with the engine. So instead of being into the mid 40s, you're in the low 50s, so you get a huge, huge visual hit. No shadows, worse reflections. Basically, a completely different looking game, at least in my opinion. For 10 frames ahead, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, instead of in the mid 40s, you're in the low 50s. So, 6 frames ahead, maybe. Yeah, I don't think it's worth sacrificing the settings that much to have like six frames more so again i know i repeat myself a lot but lock it to 40 and enjoy your time with medium to high settings or if you want 30s you can go for the highest i mean, i say 30s because it might drop below 40 on the highest settings and it doesn't look that much better in comparison to the medium to high settings I recommended. But hey, you can also try a 40 FPS lock here as well. But it'll drop below 40 in some areas, so keep that in mind. Yeah, there. So for the best ability, medium to high, 40 FPS lock, and enjoy your suffering in Dark Souls 3. And this one is Steam Deck Verified also, which is great to see. When you put the name of your character, you get a <laughs> you get the digital keyboard on screen. So it works really well. I'm pretty impressed still. So that's the entire Dark Souls franchise on the Steam Deck. Basically everything runs at 60 except in Dark Souls 3 that you get a uh, lower to 40. But yeah, you can suffer with Dark Souls on the go if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.